made a news comedy site where we take various themes, string them together to make a point. We're pretty generous with the word comedy, too. I think it's pretty good, but I mean, you know. <laughs> well, that will be I don't want to oversell it. And today we discuss the presidential pardon power. Mm. And that time Bill Clinton pardoned his brother and what that has to do with the Hunter Biden scandal. But first, I hope you pardon me for what I'm about to say. We really need <laughs> subscribers uh, and comments, really. So, uh, you know, if you guys like what you see, uh, give us some uh, give us some subscriptions, man. Give us some comments. And if you guys want to see some content from us, give us some ideas. But more than anything else, follow us. Uh, we're on Parlor. We're on Rumble. We're on Twitter. We're on Clapper. We're on YouTube. I mean, I'm walking around Walmart daily, depending on which state you live in. You might see me there. You don't have to look me in the eyes, I understand. But just follow us. Yeah. That's all we ask. So if you are on Rumble, this will be on Rumble, though there is a bit of a delay. And we have Rumble exclusive content, such as our Point Made shorts or uh, Words That Will Change Your Life. we got to get back on that. And other things, uh, all of our Clapper stuff. If you're on YouTube, you will be the first one to get this video. So there is a benefit to following us on one, other, or both. Yeah. All right. With that said... We shall see how this whole Hunter Biden story plays out. The, consider this a snapshot in history. We usually like to give a lot of context and history to a story. But right now, this is playing out in real time. But there is a lot of pardon power in well, the president. Hunter Biden, I could have swore like I woke up last night in terror. I thought he was like sniffing my flower. Like, in the, <laughs> I thought he thought it was like, like, <laughs> like all over his face. Like I had a dream. But anyway, yeah, the power of the pardon. Here's the question. How do you think old, uh, old Biden family is going to use the, the old pardon power? See, you see, this is the key. So to give a little context, the U.S. Constitution, Article 2, Section 2, says the president shall have the power to grant reprieves and pardons for offenses against the United States, except in, in cases of impeachment. So he has the power to just poof. Now, a reprieve means uh, it's still on your record, but your, your time served stops right then. A pardon means, even though we won't forget, in the eyes of the law, it's like it's never happened. Now, to, to be 100% to be candid on this, I mean, Joe Biden's on record as saying that if he were president, he would not interfere in any kind of ongoing investigations and would let the justice system kind of play out like it's supposed to. I believe is what he said. Yeah. So but if you believe we'll that, see. you also believe he didn't know his son's yeah. business He didn't deal. know. Well, he was in China. Where was he in China? <laughs> he was yeah. he had he office was. space next to a guy named Dong, literally, yeah. who worked for the Chinese Communist oh, Party. Oh. And he, many, never, he never, never you know, knew. You know the old question, how many Dongs are in China? Well, at least one. <laughs> at least one next to Joe Biden. I mean... And then they had that picture of him with the Ukrainian, the Burisma guys, and then they were all... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the this photo, photograph. photograph. Oh, and, and, and Nickelback. Really, you're going to get an issue with them using that song? You, they're Canadians. I say that's foreign interference. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys have, you guys have sold, sold a lot of albums. I mean, let Trump have this one. So, uh, when I wrote this, I actually titled it, Pardon Me, so you were ahead of me on that. Oh. So, let's talk examples. And no one has more infamous pardons... Then Bill Clinton. Then Dolly Parton had two... What? Then Bill Clinton. Oh, Bill Clinton. <laughs> so, on the Clinton pardon controversy is that he pardoned 450 people during his presidency, but he pardoned a third of them his last night in office. Well, think that they usually pardon that one turkey, don't they? Yeah. So they all get that one. So, talking about an other a big example first, Mark Rich, he pardons this man on the last night of his presidency. Hedge fund trader, whatever that means. How how is all these hedge fund traders in dark, involved with dark money? Um, he avoided. He committed acts of tax evasion. What rich person has at this point? But more importantly, he was secretly making deals with Iran during the Iran hostage crisis. Well, I mean, Obama <laughs> did it like overtly. <laughs> so there's your sack full of money. Don't make a nuke for like. Let's say we think Joe six years. Six years. So, during the Iran hostage crisis, when they were holding Americans hostage in our embassy, we rightly said, you couldn't make any deals with them. <laughs> well, you know, we Mark don't Rich yeah. thought that this was too much of a constriction on, on his So, on his he could negotiate maybe a little bit. Yeah, so he was making secret oil deals oh. with Iran. Now, to be fair, he was never prosecuted, but when he caught wind of the investigation, he fled to Switzerland. I spent the entire time 
It's a good it, place to flee to, I think. I think that's a good place to flee to. Yeah. So, um, so why was he pardoned? Now, here's the theory. His wife, Denise, made major contribution to Hillary Clinton's Senate campaign, made major contribution to Hillary, uh, to the Democratic Party, to the Clinton Library Fund. Is there not a the thing sound, that the, the Clintons sound, do that sound, isn't funded? It sounds like don't suicide me insurance. <laughs> Which I think might be a good thing. Yeah, I wish uh, when they offer you a life insurance policy. Do you want this Clinton not to? I think Epstein had the insurance, but lapsed when he was in jail. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) you gotta kind of make because all of his accounts were locked. Yeah, man. So he tried to go through PayPal, but he had no service. Now that's not his fault. Yeah, and if they let one person lapse. I mean, then other people will. Yeah, you, you just start sliding. It's kind of like protection money. I mean, you, you got, you got it. You can't, you can't let everyone's got a story. You know, Clinton you, can't have that. You know, it's funny when she was Secretary of State and running for president. The Clinton Foundation number contributions were high, and then when she lost the presidential election, yeah. the contribution numbers went down. I wonder if huh. after the Epstein suicide, if the numbers went don't back. say it that way. <laughs> In suicide. That's not what happened. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> They're listening. But yeah, so they needed money for their library fund. I know, I'm probably talking into a wiretap right now. <laughs> Clinton's got your name. So even Jimmy Carter, who was the president, who authorized the investigation into this, uh, and he is a Democrat, called it disgraceful and said, I don't think there's any doubt some of the factors in Rich's pardon were attributable to his large gifts. Now, that's not illegal. It is only illegal to accept an overt bribe, which is like, look, you pardoned me, and here is a bazillion dollars. It's one of those quid pro quo arguments now. <laughs> oh, God, if we got a Latin lesson this year, <laughs> a quid pro quo. So, um, <laughs> well, now we gotta remember another clinic controversy. He pardoned his own brother. Now so this we is, finally get to it? Yeah, yeah. So this is where the it, the whole Hunter Biden, and to a lesser extent, James Biden, Joe Biden's brother. It, do you think Joe Biden would just let them sit there? Like, oh, you think he'd let Hunter sit in jail? Look, he's already said he's proud of his son. So I think if you're proud of your son doing all these obviously illegal things, you know, could have cost you the election if the mainstream media hadn't, like, hushed all the stories. Um, I gotta believe he's gonna he's gonna get him out of this. Suspicious. He's gonna, he's gonna snap his fingers. It's all gonna go away. Hmm. Proud starts with P. You oh. know what also starts with P? Pardon. <laughs> pardon power. Double P. Pa pow. Yeah. So Bill Clinton pardoned his brother Roger Clinton. Pardoned him of drug charges, which he had already served time for a decade earlier. To be fair, but in the eyes what a, of the what law, a, what a frivolous charge to get involved <laughs> in, right? <laughs> Drug charges? At, at least Hunter Biden's like under investigation for like massive issues internationally. This is for like caught him with a little bit like what they caught him with coke or what? And so he is where he com- all the rich folk do coke. This is where he completely mirrors Hunter Biden next. I mean, because within a within a year of his did he have, party, did he have a child with a prostitute? No, oh, oh, no. Yeah. I mean, we we can argue which one was a, a bigger derelict. Um, Within a year, he was charged with drunk driving and disorderly conduct. I mean, that sounds like every drunk driving charge you could possibly. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he's in good company. <laughs> it's not like it's an unusual charge. So uh, you can't win them all. I, I feel like if he even pardoned Hunter, he'd be the first man ever pardoned like 15 times in one yeah. president. Honestly, I'm actually, what I'm actually, you know, in all seriousness, really interested in. I want to see, this is going to happen, I think. I want to see how it plays out, like in the media. Because if they haven't lost all credibility yet, how could they report this at all and make it look like Joe Biden was doing the right thing and not abusing his power? We spent a whole long time talking about Trump abusing power. This seems like a textbook example of abusing your authority as president. I I would love to see how this gets reported. Well, they jumped on the Michael Flynn party. Like, even like, though everything said Michael Flynn should have been, like, that case should have been thrown out. They jumped on it. I would love to see how they run cover Democrats cover. pounced. <laughs> Did you see it? It's like Tigger. It's going to be great. I want to see it. So, let, I, 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 I'm telling you, 
I really want to see how the media covers this. I want to see Don Lemon. I want to see how he objective, objectively knew. Oh, you know, journalism. They're dying for that moment. Democrats pounce. Point me. 